हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल फूड टेक इन साइट होप यू ऑल आर सेफ दिस इज द पिक टाइम फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स दो आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर गेट सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड अ न्यू सीरीज वेयर यू विल गेट द सोल्यूशन ऑफ प्रीवियस ईयर गेट क्वेश्चन ऑफ फूड टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फूड टेक्नोलॉजी गेट क्वेश्चन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन अ टिपिकल बैक्टीरियल ग्रोथ कर्व the first order kinetics for growth rate is observed in uh, if you want to uh, see the brief description of this question so you will get that in our first video i will give the link of that video in our description box okay option a is here lag phase option b is log phase option c is stationary phase and option d uh, decline phase but for your uh, convenience i will uh, show the graph here c here log n is there we shows the number of cells and in the x axis there is a time and this curve goes like that initially it's constant with time then it's increasing that is your log phase then again it's stationary that is your stationary phase and then it declines that is your decline phase so in your lag phase the number of cells will not increase but the mass will increase okay and that is your log phase here the number of cell will increase and this is your stationary phase in stationary phase also there is no there is no uh, increase in the number of cells and that is your decline phase where the number of cells will start to decrease with time so the uh, right answer for this question is the log phase okay this is your correct answer next question which of the following microorganism is not a causative agent for food borne disease so first of all what is food borne disease you will have to understand this one what is food borne disease any illness that results from the consumption of contaminated food that that is your food borne diseases Campylo, uh, campylobacter jejuni clostridium perfringens norovirus these all are uh, responsible for food borne diseases but only borrelia Bur uh, burgdorferi is not responsible for food borne diseases uh it is responsible for the lyme diseases and what is lyme diseases lyme disease is the most common vector borne disease in the united states so the right answer is option d next question which one of the following is not a fermented food product option a tofu option b vinegar option c sauerkraut and option option d tempeh tofu tofu is a non fermented food product produced from soybean that is your correct answer but these uh, options i want to discuss uh, option b vinegar what is vinegar in simple terms vinegar is a sour tasting liquid made from fruits or grains option d tempeh what is tempeh tempeh is a traditional fermented food made from soaked and cooked soybeans and uh, sauerkraut sauerkraut is what sauerkraut is a fermented product made from cabbage so these all are the fermented food product but only tofu is not a fermented food product next next question question number 4 the protein efficiency ratio is defined as this is a direct question definition based question if you know the definition of protein efficiency ratio then definitely you can answer this question uh, option a here percentage of absorbed nitrogen retained in the body option b weight gain in body mass in gram per gram protein intake option c ratio of essential and non essential amino acids in a protein and option d percent in vitro digestibility of a protein here the correct answer is a option b weight gain in body mass per gram protein intake uh, here option a is given percentage of absorbed uh, nitrogen retained in the body you should know the answer of this question also that uh, biological growth value of protein is defined as the percentage of absorbed nitrogen retained in the body okay next question which one of the following enzymes sequentially release maltose from starch the correct answer is option b beta amylase next question 
हाइएस्ट मोल परसेंट ऑफ अमीनो एसिड मिक्सचर प्रेजेंट इन ग्लूटेन इन ऑफ वीट ग्लूटेन आर ऑप्शन ए ग्लूटामाइन एंड ग्लूटामिक एसिड क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंपाउंड्स इज प्रेजेंट इन सोयाबीन एंड एक्ट एज अ फाइटो स्टीरोजन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट डिस्कस अबाउट फाइटो स्टीरोजन वॉट इज फाइटो स्टीरोजन फाइटो स्टीरोजन पॉलिफिनोलिक कंपाउंड प्रोड्यूस नेचुरली इन लेग्यूम सोयाबीन बीन्स नर्ट्स सीरियल्स फ्लैक्स सीड्स सेसम सीड्स होप्स एंड अदर प्लांट्स दैट मे एक्सर्ट एस्ट्रोजेनिक एक्शंस दिस इज कॉल्ड फाइटो स्टीरियोजेन The correct answer for this question is option D, genistein. Next question: Which one of the following is an oligosaccharide? What is oligosaccharide? Oligosaccharides are formed when two or more monosaccharides are joined together by O-glycosidic bonds. Here, two to ten number of uh, monosaccharides are there. Uh, the option A is uh, xanthan, option B alginate, option C raffinose, and option option D gelatin. So xanthan, alginate, and gelatin. These are the examples of polysaccharides where more than ten number of monosaccharides are there. But raffinose is there. In raffinose only three monomers of monosaccharides are there. So this falls under this category oligosaccharides. You should know the three na uh, names of that uh, monomers of monosaccharides are galactose, glucose, and fructose. Next question: Bittering agent in grapefruit formed after juice extraction under acidic conditions is uh, option A quinine, option B theobromine, option C isohumulone, and option D limonene. Uh, quinine. Quinine containing in a tonic water gives bitter taste. Okay. Option B, theobromine. What is theobromine? Theobromine, also known as theose, is a bitter alkaloid of the cacao plant that is found in chocolate as well as in number of foods. Option C, isohumulone. Isohumulones are chemical compounds that contribute to the bitter taste of beer. So, isohumulone is the is responsible for bitter taste of beer. And option D. Limonene. Limonene is enriched in citrus fruits and it's often found at higher concentration in seeds. So the correct answer for this question is limonene. Okay. Next question. Difference between adsorption and desorption isotherm is known as. The correct answer is hysteresis. Okay. Thank you for watching the full video. If you want to, to the solution of rest questions of 2021, uh, so. Please wait. We'll uh, upload in our next video. And uh, till now, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, so please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you will get the notification of our next next upcoming video. Thank you.